Hey guys, Prime Matrix 1986. Uh, today I wanted to film a video review of the Walking Dead Skybound exclusive Negan. Now, um, I did get this guy a while back ago, and um, I was going to film an unboxing, but unfortunately my camera shut off while I was filming that. Um, so, kind of a shame. I was going to unbox it and have a review, but again, my camera shut off in the middle of it. But, um,. Yeah, here we are. Um, after the, I think this is the third attempt. Second attempt, I tried to film. It was too bright outside. Um, so here we are. And hopefully this will work out. But anyhow, uh, without me rambling anymore, uh, yes, here is Negan. I absolutely love, love, love this figure. Uh, Negan is probably my favorite character besides Rick. And even then, I don't know. It's, it's really, really hard to pick who my favorite character is. It's either going to be Rick or Negan. I can't really choose which, honestly. Um, and, and this figure's great. This has to be my favorite figure of all time. I, I mean, plus it's like a holy grail. I mean, this guy goes for a lot of money. And I actually um, got this guy and a black and white version, which is still in the package, by the way, uh, for $200 shipped. So, pretty good deal. They've both never been opened. Um, so, very, very nice deal. Uh, the black and white version, I'm probably not going to view. I'm actually hopefully going to sell that uh, for at least 100 bucks. So... Uh, but as you can see, also I got a really nice background trying the something to fear storyline with Negan himself right there. My um, custom blue seal, which looks very very nice, I think. So thought that'd be kind of neat to have in the background. Uh, but to get up close to Negan, uh, first we'll take a look at his accessories. First and foremost, of course, he has a loose seal, uh, which is a need for Negan. Um, the barbed wire looks great on it. I definitely love the barbed wire. Let me try to focus that real quick. Uh, come on. Uh, camera's not really wanting to focus today. Let's see if I put my hand behind it. There we go. That's better. But as you can see, it looks very, very nice with the barbed wire look. You can even see the oval for the Louisville Slugger uh, logo, which is very, very neat. Of course, it has barbed wire on the tip of it, which is very, very nice. Uh, looks somewhat bloody, barely, maybe a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell, honestly. Um, yeah, it looks a little red, I guess, but overall, it's pretty clean. Uh, loose seal is, in fact, like a rubbery material, unfortunately. Um, so. Getting it out of his hand, you gotta be careful. Um, and it's really, really hard to get it out, honestly. Um, I'm gonna try to do it on camera if I can. I may have to just bring it closer to my body, which I'm gonna do. Because it, it bends, and I don't like the way it feels. And you just gotta be careful with it, honestly. Alright, here we go. But, um,. That's Lucille. Let's go into the back here with the uh, life size Lucille. And we'll take a look at his uh, second accessory, which is his knife, which is sheathed, holstered right there. Very, very nice. Pulls out, no problem. And here's a close up of the knife. So you can see, it has a lot of detail. Um, with the uh, little you know cutting spot right there, uh, the handle looks all blackened and kind of old and beaten up, which is very very nice. I like the detail I like that. It could have been just silver, but I actually took the time to make it look weathered, which is very very cool. I uh, kind of wish it was bloody. Um, I kind of wish it wasn't as rounded. It's kind of round right here because uh, you know, in spoiler alert, uh, he guts Spencer with it in the comics. Um, so. But the uh, new Negan coming out is going to be uh, covered in blood, so I'd assume this is going to be covered in blood as well. Um, and also, if you don't know about that, I have a video over that. Um, but he does hold it in his hand very, very well. As you can see. And you can get him some pretty nice poses. I'm trying to get him into the pose like how he was, I think, in that issue. He killed Spencer, the one afterwards. As you can see right here. So, pretty cool. I like it. 
but see, this isn't hard to get out of his hand. This is kind of a soft material, too, but it's not hard to get out of his hand at all, of course. So, um, and same thing I got in. Okay. Do you got it in the wrong way? Yeah, I do got it in the wrong way. Here we go. Uh, mine doesn't want to go in all the way. I'm not sure if uh, that's normal or not. I'm, I'm kind of afraid to push it down. I don't want to break the holster. So it's fine just like that. I think it's not much of a problem. The last accessory Negan comes with, uh, which is probably my least favorite, but still very, very cool nonetheless. And it, I mean, it's still awesome, but it's probably my least favorite, of course, is the uh, iron. And the iron looks very, very cool. Um, and spoiler alert, again, in case you don't know what the iron is for, uh, Negan uh, basically uses it to punish those who have, um, you know, been messing around with his so-called wives. Uh, whenever it's actually the real women's real husbands, um, but kind of wish there's like some skin residue. You know, me being the sick person I am, uh, but <laughs> there is not. It looks kind of old and uh, gray, kind of like how the blade and the knife did. But uh, a lot of nice detail on it, so you can see. And uh, again, the rubber material, so be careful. It's kind of hard to put in his hand, but it can be done. Put it in here like that. There we go. And now you can have Negan standing as if he is going to burn somebody's face with it. So, very, very neat. Definitely love the iron. Uh, this is also something that I think the new Negan uh, will not be coming out with. I don't think he has the iron. I think he just has a knife and loose seal, of course. Um, but, eh. Not too much of a loss, I don't think, honestly, but still, this iron is very, very cool in the list. Um, but, I'm going to go ahead and put Lucille back in his hands because he looks cool with it. Let's just go ahead and try to get that back in right here. I'm right, sorry about that, guys. I had an interruption. But anyhow, yes, there he is again with Lucille. And uh, just have a close-up of the guy. Here is a close-up look at his face. I actually putting back so I'm gonna take the camera off the stand. So I think it looks pretty good. Uh, it, it's still kind of growing on me. I think they could have used like a laughing face and more serious-looking face, um, but kind of like what the guy at uh, you know Treff's Chan Two said. But uh, I still do like it. The green does look a lot like Negan. Of course, the haircut does. Kind of swooshed right there though. Kind of wish I wouldn't like that. Kind of wish it was evenly cut. But still, it doesn't look bad though, of course. Uh, yeah, it's a nice little like red scarf looking thing right there. And the uh, zippers. Oh man, the zippers are, they actually look real. The detail's amazing on those. And the jacket itself is textured. And it looks very, very well done. Um, as you see, it has an open hand right here. Closed hand right there. Um, nice belt. Looks very, very cool. I like how it's kind of like swoosh right there. It gives it a lot of really nice looking, uh, realistic detail. Nice kind of grayish, bluish looking pants. This is leather boots with the straps. Looks very, very nice. And of course, the boots themselves um, are textured, which is very, very cool. Um, of course, back here, you see the back of his head, you know, and where the uh, collar of the jacket is. Very, very cool. There's his back pockets. And uh, also, he bend down his legs some. You see L and R. I guess that means you're left and right. Nearly they were assembling the guy. So <laughs> there's that. There's the back zippers. Skin look awesome. I love that. Um, so the detail in this guy is amazing, uh, as you can tell. Very very nice. Um, for a uh, comparison, here he is next to his good old buddy uh, Rick Grimes. Which they look very, very, very cool together, I think. Trying to get them stand, to stand right. So very, very neat. I like the way they look. Again, you know, from the All Out War rig and the All Out War Negan, of course. Very, very neat. I, I want to get Dwight to put by Negan, so maybe I'll get him soon. Who knows? But I just wanted to show that comparison off. Um, as for articulation, 
the guy's head can move around pretty well actually he uh, can look up and you know up and down kind of and kind of tilt his head from side to side um, arms can bend 360 he's not gonna do it though um, elbows got the nice ratchet system open hand with uh, you know the normal hand joints these mark these figures have same goes for this hand of course the only difference though is you know being this hands closed to hold accessories this hands open and uh, I'm gonna show this off real quick the reason why of course in case you don't know it's because you can have uh, that hand open so you can hold the bat kind of like how he is right here in issue 100 except it's obviously you know reversed with opposite hands but yeah um, you can get a lot of nice poses with him like so uh, of course the knees they are at some nice ratchets as well uh, feet are on a ball joint so they can go 360 and they can also pivot some ankles don't do anything barely has any waist articulation I won't stress it at all it just barely moves um, and of course the leg movement has kind of a ball, I think it's a ball joint inside kind of feels like it um, but if you're crafty you can get him to some pretty interesting poses um, one of them I like to do a lot is to get the bat um, on his shoulder and it actually can't touch the shoulder too uh, kind of like so um, or you can have him uh, you know kind of hold Lucille out as if he's picking you know the any mini mini mo segment um, so pretty cool kind of wish you'd get him to a swinging pose with uh, you know both arms you can't do that of course because you know his arm will stretch over there uh, kind of a shame, but eh, what can you do? But um, I think he looks pretty damn sweet in any pose you get him in, honestly. But uh, yep, very very cool figure. I absolutely love this guy. I love the character of Negan. Um, of course, I'm very very excited, you know, for his show appearance, and I can't wait to see uh, him in action even more in season seven. Um, of course, you know. We don't know who he killed in the comics. Spoiler alert, it's Glenn. Um, which I'm starting to think maybe it is Glenn. I have a whole video over who I think it is and why. Uh, but I'm starting to kind of think it may be Glenn. For many reasons, I'm not going to say why. Of course, here, I may make a video about it. Who really knows? But, um, oh, and also, Negan related, if you want to, you can check out my Negan dedication video I made. There's actually a link to it to my Facebook page. Uh, well, you know, the official Prime Matrix. 1986 Facebook page, not my personal Facebook page, of course. Um, posted there because I can't post it here on YouTube due to copyright music. Um, so, but if you are interested in that, check it out. It's pretty cool, I think, at least. Um, so, that's going to cut it for today, though, guys. Uh, hope you all enjoyed. And without further ado, I'll catch you all later. Peace.